Hi, welcome to the thread the daily here. Uh, today I'm uh, going to visit our farmer and uh, I'll be showing you each and every step and uh, we tackle each and every. So here, as you can see, we have the silage banker. This farmer has already prepared a cell and uh, it has like three already, these are bankers for silage and you have to make sure that you have quota security that's going to last you for uh, like a year or six months uh, at the minimum. So this is a sample silage uh, banker. And you leave an opening here so that you can uh, compact your silage. So the first thing that you need as a daily farmer, you need to have quota security. And for quota security, I advocate farmers to have uh, silage that is called silage. So this is just a, a simple structure that you can keep here. Yeah, silage, you can keep them in, even in corrigin uh, papers. It depends on the your capability. So for this farmer, uh, she has already done well. She has uh, like therefore, therefore, yeah. So we keep on. Uh, let me take you to the cow shed and we talk about uh, cow shed. So, so welcome to the cow shed and uh, we talk about. Our main focus is uh, cow. So to start with, here we have uh, heifers. Yeah, as you can see, they are it, this shed is well organized. Yeah, and the animals are very, very comfortable. So we start with heifers here. Yeah? For if your farm to be uh, to run for a long time, you need uh, calves. You need heifers, as you can see here. You need to label. You need to name all your heifers. Yeah. Not all just heifers, all your cows. Then the feeding, as you can see here, we have a mixture of silage, we have a mixture of uh, bomaros, yeah, and supernapia, as you can see here. And uh, we are trying to make sure, we are trying to make sure, we can make sure that uh, you have uh, even the mineral block here, yeah. If you are a dairy farmer and you don't have a min uh, a mineral block, you are doing nothing because cows need not just the milking cows, even the the heifers need uh, the the mineral salt as you can see. Then, uh, when you are cow shed, you have to make sure that where your cow eats, is we have water availability as you can see here, and this water must be very clean. Yeah, make sure the water is very clean. There is no dirt in that. So we have very beautiful heifers here. On the other side. Here we have the milking herd. Yeah, we have the milking herd. Uh, make sure your shed is always free, and uh, where your cow strip is uh, very comfortable and dry. Yeah, free from uh, uh, wet. There is no wetness there. Yeah, so that your cow can be comfortable. Yeah, then there must be sunlight. As you can see, there is a space for sunlight, so that the cow can get the sunshine. That is with vitamin D. And there is good aeration, as you can see, we have good aeration that the wind, the air can circulate inside your cow shed to, to reduce the cow stress and uh, to make sure that there is a peak performance in your heart. Yeah, so we have a cow here. Yeah, so this is all that we have been talking about, guys. Yeah, you too can make it. This farmer started from scratch and now he has so, she has so much. That these are a lot of herds of cows. Yeah, you two can start. Don't despise yourself. Start from one. Keep on growing. Keep on growing. Yeah, invest in a good structure as you can see. Before even you bring your uh, your cows, I've shown you. You have to first of all put for the security in form of uh, silage. And uh, I'll take you here up. We will see where we have uh, uh, bomaros, and then. Uh, so fonder, then good structure before you bring your cows. Let's keep on moving. So as you can see there, we have uh, cow mattresses, they strip there. And you note, we have uh, mineral drops, mineral rich drops there. So for each and every, uh, as you can see, that, uh, that heifer is already reaching that. So make sure you have those drops on your cow shed to make sure that uh, you will keep on uh, Doing what you are supposed to be doing. So cow, cow comfort is another thing. Yeah, I'll keep on giving you all these details so that you can run from uh, already established dairy farmers, so that we can keep on uh, going. So look at the cow shed itself. Yeah, uh, this cow has uh, this farmer has used what we call concrete that doesn't have stones. 
Yeah, the, uh, the, the cows are very comfortable. They and uh, they are happy, as you can see. They are we call them. Uh, these are Frisian, yeah. They are host and Frisian, yeah. You can start with any breed that you want, but uh, you have to take uh, into note what you are supposed to do, yeah. So let's go to to the calf pen so that I can show you the calf pen. Here are the the ratcheting cows. So that one was a dry cow there. Uh, these are ratcheting cows. So you see, this water is very clean, yeah. And I always tell farmers, if the water that your cow drinks is not clean, if you can't drink the water that your cow drinks, you should uh, remove that water, you should wash wash it, wash the, the watering area, and uh, to make sure there is... Uh, here we have even the mineral blocks that you can see there, yeah? So we keep on uh, going so that you can uh, run in more. So you can have a, a simple structure like this so that you can put your hay up there so that this is supported by pillars as you can see here we have pillar here and another pillar so this will support all the weight from there so let me take you to the cup so that you can see and also you can put music to your cows yeah once you put your music to your cows uh it stimulates milk production so have a radio have a woofer so that you can be free uh your, your music there. Here, we have calf. So, I always tell you guys that, yeah, the first thing that we need is to raise the calf pen, yeah? And uh, you must ensure that there is right, as you can see, this iron sheet there, and there is good air circulation, as you can see, yeah? So, your calves should be up, so that when it urinates, all the, as you can see here, it urinates, it is got Ensure that uh, your cow has your cow has uh, water and sandwich, and uh, you keep on feeding it. Yeah, you keep on feeding it. So the structure itself looks good, uh, and uh, you keep on feeding. You give milk as this is required. You give parent as this is required, and I believe uh, with this small small step, you can we will go far as dairy farmers and we keep educating each other. So let me take you to the where we keep our hay. So welcome to where this farmer puts uh, our head. Yeah, it's a good structure. It's a raised structure. Yeah, and as you can see here, we have a lot of hay. Yeah, this farmer has. Uh, Got what we call food security, food security. So these are all these are all bomber roads here. Yeah? These papers we use them for silage, as you can see. And uh, once you have uh, like uh, you have silage, you have all these, you are good to go. Yeah, those uh, cans are for molasses for making uh, silage. Yeah, as you can see there. And uh, it's possible, it's doable. You start from scratch and you keep on moving forward so with uh, such information guys we can go far as a daily farmers and uh i hope to see you in the next video as we keep on visiting other farmers and giving uh advice on how to run a day a profitable daily farming so thank you and uh, may you have a wonderful time this is my message to daily farmers for the upcoming and those who want uh, to give up in dairy farming. We all have setbacks, but uh, the best thing is to you keep on doing what you do each and every day. Trust the process each and every day. And uh, I believe and I hope and I know that uh, one day, one time you will reach in the same level as this farmer it takes guts it takes time yeah to accomplish all this but uh, once you you trust the process wake up very early love your animals keep doing what is best for your animals one day one time you make you will have a breakthrough yeah
you will own a large a very large dairy farm you will still have you would ha- will have gained the experience in uh, managerial experience of managing that uh, your dairy farm yeah look at these cows this farmer didn't start uh, with a hundred cows no she has been upgrading yeah following instructions given by uh, by experts and other practicing dairy farmers so don't feel uh, don't feel bad when you see other people progressing but you are not progressing yeah each and every person how we all have timelines yeah your time to succeed is not the same as my time to succeed yeah it is up to us we keep on working we keep on doing what we are supposed to be doing and uh, one day one time we'll make it remember so many people depend on farmers actually all people depend on farmer three times in a day so all you need to know that is uh, you are special you are special so if you are on the verge of giving up as a dairy farmer maybe due to the hiking in uh, fodder concentrate don't give up stick to that phrase yeah keep doing what you do and uh, one day one time you'll make it but the, the the tricky part is once you give up yeah once you give up you'll keep watching other people progress yeah some give up when the time is near yeah you're not supposed to give up from us yeah we keep on hustle hard trust the process keep on doing what you do each and every day but one day once the breakthrough is there you will own like all these look at those papers yeah you will own all these and much more yeah and it will be a generation of wealth yeah it will be a generation generation of projects it is doable this farmer has done it many farmers are doing it just because they adhered to yeah and they never give up yeah let's keep on working let's keep on doing what we are supposed to be doing love your animals with passion feed them correctly yeah don't be uh jira c of uh uh or like you see some farmers they are not willing to spend more money on their dairy cows yeah the cow is giving you money but uh, most of you are not uh, returning that money back to the cows and that's why maybe your farm is not progressing so you should uh what i would advise farmer is whenever you get money from a cow always make sure you save one that of the pro- of the produce of the money that you have gotten from the cow once you do that you will have a surety of uh, one day one time that uh, you will go back and uh, use the money that you have saved yeah in case of drought in case of you don't have concentrate yeah you must have a plan yeah you have to have a plan and you join dots backwards you start small you grow rich you grow big small by small step by small steps and remember it takes time yeah it takes time so you have to keep on uh just believe in yourself don't listen to other what others will say and i will tell you it is not uh, doable yeah why don't stop stop listening to the naysayers yeah interact with the already established dairy farmer like this one and you will gain a lot of experience you will gain a lot of encouragement all of us needs an encouragement and you will get all that so guys let's keep on working let's keep on doing what we are supposed to do as dairy farmers yeah we fight we fight till the end because i know one day one time we will make it you too will make it yeah i am also a dairy farmer and uh, this message of hope is for those uh, they are f- feeling like they want to give up yeah 
you may be working you are all you are doing is you are taking money from your pocket taking money from your pocket taking and there is no return but what i would like to tell you is just wait time is all that we need yeah time is all that we need you see like this farmer has been practicing dairy farming for the last 10 years 10 good years it may sound like a lot of time but with passion and dedication that is the shortest time possible yeah even uh, she had to call some cows because there were many yeah so guys don't give up on this yeah this is a very lucrative ta- uh, job that we have yeah and the, the one thing i like about animals that they don't fake it they are not like people yeah they are not like people they don't fake it they keep on if there is something wrong with them if they don't like you you will notice if they like you if something is not working uh, is not working you will just notice yeah so guys uh, make your animals make your dairy cow your friends protect them provide for them yeah uh feed them do all the necessary requirements to make them stress free and uh, at the end of it all you are the one who is going to benefit you will be the one who is will be smiling back to the bank because cows can sustain you your family and generations to come yeah not only milk you can call some cows and you get money yeah i have never seen a broke dairy farmer to be sincere yeah and to make it through and to to make uh, to, to have a break even when it comes to dairy farming you don't have to rear just one dairy cow no you have to rear like uh, two or three yeah there's no need of having at uh, eight cows that is, one is producing 4 liters in a day yeah one is producing 4 liters in a day that is wastage of resources fodder time labor all that so what you could do is invest in good breeds yeah invest in good breeds like now you can have one uh, cow that is producing 20 liters in a day and uh, you will make it you will make a break even if you have three cows that is producing 20 liters in a day 60 that is 60 liters depending on your market range at your price maybe a liter goes for 60 or the, uh, let's say 50 on a raw side so when you multiply 50 by 60 that is 3000 in a in a day in that 3000 in a day in a month is like 90000 so if you minus reba you minus foda yeah you minus all those miscellaneous you will have like a, a profit of uh, let's say 30000 once you have removed all that on a lower level on a, on a minimal yeah and remember you still have your cows and your cows are giving birth still yeah they are coming down so guys these all these is doable is doable guys yeah feed your cows well what are you feeding your cows yeah you see like this farmer is having mix of uh, super napier sirage and bomarods this is a good combination it has fiber it has protein it has energy yeah and if you check uh, the cow the cow shed everywhere you go they have what we call mineral blocks those are for licking yeah does your cow shed have uh, mineral blocks yeah look at the security of the farm you have to have security and in this term i say dogs are the best security yeah and like men people can plan against you but dog will always be royal to you have uh, silage bunkers like this one that you are seeing here all these silage bunkers ah uh, this farm has diversified yeah they has a space so she decided to to rear some uh, fish yeah so you can uh, check out that those are fish these are tilapia yeah So you if you have a farm you can utilize it, utilize it the best way possible. Yeah? Because I know uh not only dairy farming you can do other ta- tasks, ensure security, keep gates. So you see this is a planting season now. It has not rained yet, but uh it's just preparation for planting. So all this farm she's going to plant uh corn for silage and I've shown you the bunkers. So all these section 
uh, she's going to plant uh, corn. Yeah? So guys, this is possible. Yeah? You just have to plan. You have to be ahead of each and every time. You have to be ahead. Yeah? Let's keep people keep wondering why uh, is this farmer progressing where we are not? It is just a matter of planning. Plan ahead, yeah? Like now prepare your land well. So check all that. Yeah? She has already prepared. When the rain comes, just uh, a matter of planting. Yeah? And uh, this farmer is lucky because they have what we call, uh, she practices drip irrigation. Yeah? Let me take you to the fish pod, another fish pod, big fish pod. Yeah? Look at these guys. Look at this massive, massive fish pod. This is full of catfish. Yeah? Catfish. Look at all that. This is not a dam. This is a man-made fish pod. And you can see so many, many, many fish there. Yeah? She's telling me that she started with uh, uh, 2,000 fish. And it has been like uh, five months. I believe they have multiplied. Yeah? This is what we call modern farming. You have to diversify. Yeah? You have to diversify. Yeah, look for an opportunity where you can get extra cash. Yeah, like now when the, the fish goes for around 400 to 500, this is what we call investment. You have you don't have to be, to rely on one thing. You have to keep on uh, working. You have to rely on many things. So guys, so don't give up. Don't give up even if the the situation is not going on your way. You have to keep on hustling, you have to keep on learning day in, day out. And one day, one time, you will make it. So guys, that's all for today. And I hope you are learning something. If you are you are learning something from this channel, uh, please consider subscribing, comment, like, and share. So have a good time.